For the first time, researchers have been able to map the true extent of gold mining in the biologically diverse region of Madre de Dios in the Peruvian Amazon. The team combined field surveys with airborne mapping and high-resolution satellite monitoring to show that the geographic extent of mining has increased 400% from 1999 to 2012, and that the average annual rate of forest loss has tripled since the Great Recession of 2008. Until this study, thousands of small clandestine mines that have boomed since the economic crisis have gone unmonitored. The team, led by Carnegie's Greg Asner, in close collaboration with officials from the Peruvian Ministry of Environment, used the Carnegie Landsat Analysis System Light, or Class Light, to detect and map both large and small mining operations. Class Light differs from other satellite mapping methods. It uses algorithms to detect changes to the forest in areas as small as 10 square meters, about 100 square feet, allowing scientists to find small-scale disturbances that can't be detected by traditional satellite methods. The team corroborated the satellite results with on-ground field surveys and Carnegie Airborne Observatory, or CAO, data. The CAO uses light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, a technology that sweeps laser light across the vegetation canopy, to image it in 3D. It can determine the location of single standing trees at 3.5 feet, or 1.1 meter, resolution. The field and CAO data confirmed up to 94% of the class light mine detections. As of 2012, small illicit mines accounted for more than half of all mining operations in the region. This highlights the importance of using this newer high-resolution monitoring system. Asner commented that their results revealed far more rainforest damage than was previously reported. The rate of forest loss from gold mining accelerated from 5,350 acres, or 2,166 hectares per year before 2008, to 15,180 acres, or 6,145 hectares, each year after the 2008 global financial crisis that rocketed gold prices. In addition to wreaking direct havoc on tropical forests, gold mining releases sediment into rivers with severe effects on aquatic life. Other recent work has shown that Peru's gold mining has contributed to widespread mercury pollution affecting the entire food chain, including the food ingested by people throughout the region. Co-author Ernesto Reyes Luna, senior advisor to the minister, Peruvian Ministry of the Environment, remarked that they finally have very detailed and accurate data that can be turned into government action. This study can warn Peruvians about the terrible impact of illegal mining in one of the most important enclaves of biodiversity in the world, a place that the Peruvian nation is vowed to protect for all humanity. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what is possible for us, our planet, and our universe.